All right, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be covering some new features that have made its way into UE5 main. They're more likely further out, but I thought I'd take a look at Material Designer, which is supposed to represent a more simplified way to make a material for assets um, that is closer and more reminiscent to something like the compact material editor for, like, say, 3ds Max, where you don't have to know all this information about materials to fill it out. All right, so obviously. This is very early. By the time it ships, if it ships, it will probably be in a very different state. So it is called Material Designer. First things first. I just made an instance. But before that, obviously, plugins. It's called Material Designer. As you can see, Mark Alpha. You know, ready anytime soon, at least for now. All right. As you can see, this is set up to be much more simplistic than the normal material workflow. Um, you, you, you're not working with nodes. Oh my. But as you can see, we just have the surface type or whether or not it's a post-process material we're working with. We have whether it's opaque, translucent, mass, etc. still. Then, after that, like there's only an animated tag and whether or not we want it unlit or lit. Right? From there, we're working with layers. Which is really nice. Now, the new system is we apply a texture. It will go to the base color or the emissive. And then we can use an opacity. From there, we can use effect and material functions to drive what those are doing. The nice thing is, once we're done, we can actually just open the material that this makes if we want to further work on it, or export it to use it as a material. This is the effects of it, right? So it's pretty easy. This is whether or not it's on. This is whether or not the UV link is on or not. This is the opacity map. This is the actual material map. Um, so I'm just going to assign a random noise for now. Uh, we can, from here, set whether or not what the scale should be and those very simple texture options. Let's make sure to assign this. This is a material dynamic instance. Uh, dynamic material designer instance, right? Uh, this makes it much easier for anyone that isn't necessarily someone that's modeling or things like that. We'll make it opaque. It's that easy. So we're going to select the opacity. Oh, this is whether or not the layer's on or off. I'm going to do another noise. Um, but there you go. So now there's an opacity map. Uh, let's make another layer. So all I'm doing is right-clicking this layer, and we can add an effect like alpha level. Um, but we can insert another layer, right? So there you go. I'm trying to move it down. Hello. There we go. Give or take still a little bit. All right, so let's wait for that. This texture. Let's set red channel. Um, so there you go. It's masked, right? We're now seeing that under layer. Above this, we can add effects. So if we wanted alpha level and then use this to do a min and max of this, we can use that to kind of clamp that alpha. Um, and they're easy enough that we just add and remove, right? Um, so we can hide that. Oh. All right, I had a crash. That is what happens sometimes. Obviously, this is very early. Um, but I just wanted to kind of demonstrate this is something where you can just make some simple materials and stack them. This does support just importing a gradient or anything like that. So you could do some more advanced materials in here and like do different effects um, that you're used to, but just on a different scale, right? So we can still do like a panner. It's just, A, it might crash. It's going to take a second. I don't actually sh see shaders compiling. They are compiling, but the way that my editor is at the moment, I don't see them listed, right, until it's done. Um, so I'll speed that up. But there you go. So we now have a panner on here as well. Obviously, it's because it's opaque where the masking isn't everywhere. We could do that if we wanted. And this is obviously a little simpler than the one we had. We have the option of not using a texture, but just doing a solid color, color atlas. So you do have, you still have some of those little options. And you can add a material function if you want, or at least you will be able to. Anyways, that's kind of what I wanted to show. As you can see, it's a lot more simplified. Um, so you could, realistically, you can use this for, if you don't know materials, or just like, say you're working on an ArchViz project, or something non-game related. And I imagine it's going to get a little more uh features in the future and and uh overall it just works really nice um you still can you can still actually the cool thing is we then convert it right um so i just hit a button in this top area uh to open in material editor and now 
or we can export the generated material and we can actually just get back and see exactly how it was done, right? Um, and that's how it layers it up. Uh, but this can be a way where, say, we're learning materials. We can use this tool to do certain things, learn what it's doing, and then set it up uh, manually ourselves. And yeah, so I found that pretty interesting uh, that you can then end up with the same result. You, this might not be how you would necessarily do it yourself if you were doing this, but it's a pretty cool thing. And you can save that out and export it there. Anyways, uh, if you like this and want to see more upcoming features, uh, I generally try to cover them when I find them. Um, I know there's some stuff, they added some post-process uh, material chain stuff that I wanted to look into and some more modeling tools. Uh, and I do plan on releasing a template for the common UI to kind of expand upon what is in the sample tab of the launcher in the content examples. Uh, I hope you guys got something from that. We probably could have made some, or I probably could have planned a more complex material, but at the moment it is early, so it is crashing. So that's why I kind of was careful with it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, you know, thumbs up, all that YouTube stuff. And uh, yeah, see you next time.